Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sean Grabowski. They call me the Narc Slayer on here on YouTube. I also stream on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I gotta get more current on Instagram. But anyway, how y'all doing? We're gonna muck. To, <laughs> we're gonna muck to the bang. Y'all, I just did an intro and I'm not getting ready to do it over again, okay? So we're gonna eat a little bit and we're gonna chat a little bit. I do want y'all to see the food. Let's see. So we'll pick the phone up for a second. And look down in there and see all the goodness. The bourbon chicken, the chicken wing, the beans, the the uh, squash and the zucchini um, and all that good stuff. Some goodness in there. Okay, let's put that back. Put y'all right back there. Da, 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 da. How y'all doing? Y'all, how many of y'all know that in order for you to get what you want out of life, first of all, you got to know what that is. Bless the food and bless the hands that prepared it and bless the ones that do not mm. 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 we all got this from the golden grail mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's good. Let's get into this cornbread. Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. It's sweet. I only got one. One of those and then two of this kind. They shaped a little bit different. Mm. So good. all of y'all new subscribers thank you guys for subscribing to the channel thank you one for my thank you for my day ones my what do you call them something like day ones or something like that <laughs> thank you for the people who've been here from the beginning even my haters. Mm hmm Thank you, too. Mm hmm mm hmm Thank you for the haters, too. Mm hmm Now, we got some chicken pastry in here. Okay? I could not figure out what I wanted to eat. So, you, I said, you know what? Let me go to a place where I can get the variety. That was pretty good. Mm-hmm. Mm. That bourbon. That bourbon chicken never disappoints. Never. It's so good. All the time. Mm-hmm. Y'all know I love rice. And the shrimp. Mm-hmm. So good. But look, y'all. I'm ready for love, y'all. Right? Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that I'm ready for marriage. I'm not even saying I'm ready for a committed relationship. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that I'm ready for SAG. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm ready for love. Do y'all know what I mean when I say that?
Because it's a difference, y'all. Mm hmm I'm ready for love. I'm ready to share. My emotions, I'm ready to be vulnerable. I'm ready for love. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And I'm, I'm excited about it. Very excited. In order, in order to love, you got to trust, right? So it, the way that I look at it, I trust me. I trust me to be able to know whether or not a person loves me. Or whether or not that person is being emotionally available with me as I become vulnerable and emotionally available to someone else. I'm ready for love. Now, you don't have to be emotionally available for seg. You don't have to be emotionally available, available for that. That's just a need of the body. But I'm not talking about a need of the body. I'm talking about a need of the heart. I'm ready to share my heart space. Mm. Do y'all get me? Do y'all understand? I've had all the other stuff, y'all. Mm hmm Yep, I heard it all of the other ways. I don't want that anymore. I want to open up myself and be emotionally available and I want my partner to be too but y'all listen it requires communication and uh, vulnerability you have to be vulnerable mm-hmm Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a risky thing, right? Because I've been in toxic relationships. I know you have too. I talk to people all the time who are going through that now. But I just figured out How to get to the other side. Just figured out how to get what I want. Mm -hmm. So if you understand what I'm saying, leave it in the comment section below. A big hunk of it is me trusting myself. That's number one. Mm -hmm. Because... There are people who are not emotionally available, right? And see, a lot of times we run into, we overlook like red flags. That's what we do. And I'm only talking to the people who desire love. 
not just said. Two different things, right? But we ignore the red flags. And the red flag is basically just saying to you, this person is not available emotionally. They're not. That's what the red, red flag is about. You know what I mean? And so since we have a name, and we all do for human companionship, said to sometimes we overlook that. Mm -mm, but I'm now, <laughs> I'm ready for, for love, y'all. Mm -hmm. When I'm happy as shit right now, very much satisfied in my life where I am, what's going on with me. What about you? Another big part of what I got going on is my relationship to money and finances, what that looks like, financial literacy, what that is. It's like a working on a whole portfolio, getting everything in order, putting everything where it needs to be in order so I could, in order for me to be able to live and experience life the way that I want to as it relates to money, but then as it relates to love too. So the money and the love. What about you? Can you relate? Let me know, honey. That's why I am right now. And it's a good thing. I'm so excited. Y'all, all of this is basically my channel is a lot about the inner world or the inner life of your emotions and the layers. Y'all heard me talk to, not too long ago about not too long ago about the three D world, right? Three D meaning just just what you know, like our natural life. You know what I'm saying? 3D meaning is it, not deep, is very shallow, is is primal, you know, is instinct, is you know, like what you see. But this real love thing that I want is spiritual. It's spiritual. Mm -hmm. Period. Well, anyway, y'all, kisses and hugs. Y'all shut a video out for me. Because this right here was so good. Okay. That song by India Ari. I'm ready for love. Mm hmm. I'm going to be listening to that on my way home. Because, y'all, guess what? That's what we came here for. You know what I mean? That's what we came here for. Alright y'all, we're gonna finish this later on today. We still got the wings, some of the bourbon chicken, 
some more shrimp, one and a half of the hush puppy, and a little bit of the chicken pastry. We ate all the squash though. That was a good thing. But anyway, y'all, kisses and hugs. Oh, another thing. Let me tell y'all, I gotta tell y'all a secret. Somebody on TikTok followed me. And I forgot what their name, their profile name is, right? But right below the profile name is Eat With Q's Husband. And the, the person been saying down, I'll show y'all the receipts in the TikTok that they love my commentary on YouTube. They love me. Keep calling me a queen. It's just real interesting. So they've been sending me a link and I'm not going to tap on it because I don't want nobody infecting my phone with anything. But yeah. That's interesting. Some tell me Q's going to pop up soon. And she might be calling my name. Very interesting. But anyway, I don't have any problems with Q. She's young. She's got to figure it out. Um, life, <laughs> life is something else, especially when you get to dealing with the layers. It's all about the layers. And this is one thing that I'm going to leave with you guys because of my curiosity and my quest for love. I'm in love with the layers because the first layer may look like one thing. But as you take a deep dive and you go, you go deeper, by the time you get to that seventh layer down there, that's where, that's where the realness is. And once you can uncover that, then you can get shit straightened out. So when it comes to eat with Q, She's possibly going through the layers. And when I talked to her on the phone, I told her, I don't want anything from you. I just want you to heal. But anyway, y'all, bye guys. And I'll see y'all on the next video.